30 to 40% of our body consists of muscles. They help us walk, write, lift, dance, and live. Imagine the muscles working less and less, and finally, not working at all. This is what happens with muscular dystrophy. The most common form is called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne is not contagious. It is a condition you are born with and is caused by a change in a person's DNA, resulting in a deficiency or lack of dystrophin, which is an essential protein for the muscles. It leads to progressive deterioration of muscle tissue, which turns into fat and scar tissue. It is a disease from all countries and races all over the world. It affects about one in every 3,500 boys. Girls can also be born with Duchenne, but this is very rare. Due to improved medical care, life expectancy has extended enormously. Average life expectancy was 19 years in 1990. Currently, this is 30 years. Timely recognition of Duchenne and its accompanying and known problems is key to successful and early interventions. In addition, scientists are constantly working to develop experimental treatments that influence the change in DNA within Duchenne. The muscle weakness manifests itself between the age of 18 months and 3 years, while diagnosis itself is usually made between the age of 4 and 6 years. Between the age of 6 to 10 years, the muscle power decreases progressively. The boy will fall down more often, not being able to get up on his own. At the age of 14, most boys use a wheelchair full time. During this time, also, arm and hand function declines. This has an enormous consequence for self-help and make the patient more and more dependent on others. Up until the age of 18, there are further increases in muscle weakness, resulting in life-threatening heart and respiration problems. The men use respiratory support or a tracheotomy tube to help with breathing. There also may be brain involvement due to lack of dystrophin, however this is not progressive. While all have an increased chance of learning problems, only 30% suffer from intellectual impairment. Reading difficulties occur in 40%. Attention and emotional problems are also more common. There is no such thing as an average boy or man with Duchenne. Each boy or man is unique with his own strengths and weaknesses. They can live a normal, independent future and develop their own competencies and with appropriate support can play a full part in society.